This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for March 19th, 2024. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Jeff Lynne's ELO has announced the Over and Out Tour, the band's final tour that'll play more than two dozen North American cities starting this fall. The only New England stop is scheduled for September 23rd in Boston at the TD Garden. Pre-sale tickets go on sale tomorrow. General on-sale tickets going on sale at 10 a.m. on Friday. The Eagles have agreed to a residency at the MSG Sphere in Vegas. The band will take the stage over 10 weekends from September through December at the $2.3 billion venue. The total number of shows in terms of the deal have yet to be disclosed. Fish are the next band to take up residency at the Sphere coming up next month, including on 420. The current incarnation of Pantera may be releasing a live album down the line. Zach Wilde from Black Label Society and Ozzy Osbourne's band has taken over for Dimebag Daryl on guitar. Charlie Benante from Anthrax has taken over for Vinnie Paul behind the drums, saying, quote, we talked about that and we'll see. We record a lot and it's probably just spending time with it to see what shows are good or take a song from this show or that show and make a complete live record. I would love to do that. Pantera are continuing to open night number one of the M72 World Tour with Metallica this summer. Actor and comedian Bill Hader is set to voice The Cat in the Hat. The Dr. Seuss animated movie is set to open in theaters coming up March 6th of 2026. The Cat in the Hat is a joint effort between Warner Brothers Pictures Animation and Dr. Seuss Enterprises. First published in 1957, The Cat in the Hat revolves around an anthropomorphic cat known for his red and white striped hat and red bow tie. In the book, he attempts to entertain a girl named Sally and her brother, but wrecks their house in the process. Within Temptation just filmed a pro-Ukraine music video in Kyiv, saying, quote, we're so grateful for this experience. Traveling to Ukraine to film the video for their new single, A Fool's Parade. According to a statement on the band's social media accounts, it said, quote, we are so grateful for this experience, the warm welcome and all the people who have played a part in this. You are amazing and of great inspiration to all of us. This is a trip we will never forget. Thank you. The band saying the song is a powerful expression of Within Temptation's commitment to continue shedding light on the ongoing existential struggle that Ukraine is facing against Russia's cruel invasion. Josh Homme said that he would love to reunite the supergroup Them Crooked Vultures. In a recent AMA series on Reddit, the Queens of the Stone Age frontman said, We would love to get the band back together. It's sort of not my job to put vultures back together. That's Dave Grohl's job. My job is to dance around, write words, and try to write some music. I really want to. Dave Grohl knows this. I really want vultures to get back together and do one more round. Judas Priest frontman Rob Halford has opened up on the moment that he met the legend Dolly Parton. Saying, quote, these emails came into the office. Dolly reached out saying, would you like to sing some lines on Jolene? He said, you sit at home and go, oh, my God, this is truly going to happen. Being a gay guy, I've got nothing to wear, he said. I know she likes sparkle and I like to sparkle. So what I wore that night was apropos. He continued, she goes, I love your beard and starts to clean my beard. It was so surreal. I'm meeting this living legend and she's tickling my beard and going, you're going to sing some of Jolene with me. I was just floating. And tonight, the boss is back. After health problems derailed Bruce Springsteen's 2023 tour, the rock legend is poised to return to the stage tonight. The recent film, Bob Marley, One Love, is set to be available digitally today and arriving on Blu-ray and DVD on May 28th. Fans who purchased the film on digital 4K Ultra HD or Blu-ray will have access to more than 50 minutes of in-depth, behind-the-scenes interviews and footage detailing the making of this film. You'll hear from Ziggy Marley and other Marley family members about the process of telling Bob Marley's story with artistry and emotional authenticity. According to Forbes magazine, Journey's timeless rock anthem, Don't Stop Believin', has been named the biggest song of all time. According to the Recording Industry Association of America, the hit song, likely heard by everyone around the world, is now an 18-time certified platinum single. 
Released in October of 1981 on Journey's seventh studio album, Escape, through Columbia Records, Don't Stop Believin' has been called a perfect rock song. Since the group's formation in 1973, Journey have earned 19 top 40 singles, 25 gold and platinum albums, and has sold over 100 million albums globally. Their greatest hits album is certified 15 times platinum, making Journey one of the few bands to have ever been certified diamond. Don't Stop Believin' has been streamed over a billion times alone. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 197 featuring Lauren Monroe and Rick Allen from Def Leppard is available now.